The American Mideast Leadership Network's 2009 United States Syria Grassroots Diplomacy Program was held in August 2009 in Damascus, Syria. The program brought together American and Syrian college and graduate students in an educational and cultural setting for two and a half weeks. This year we hosted the most successful U.S.-Syrian exchange program in Damascus, Syria. We accepted 12 American students and 12 Syrian students from a pool of 100 applicants. Hi, my name is Nora Gordon. I'm a student at Columbia University School of International and Public Affairs getting my Master's in Human Rights. Hi, I'm Greg Cohen. I recently graduated from the University of Michigan focusing in international politics and Middle Eastern studies. Hello, my name is Denise Elnadar and I am a student in the Division of Global Affairs at Rutgers University. Gerard Karozian, currently at Rutgers University, majoring in Marketing and Finance. My name is Rasha Mahmood. I came from New York University, class of 2005, and I studied um, business. My name is Samad Mazahda. I'm a master's student here at Rutgers University, uh, studying Global Affairs. I'm Heidi Rosby. I'm one of the co-facilitators for the dialogue section of uh, the program. Yeah, what's, what's great about the program is that we were able to be true civic ambassadors of the United States. We were able to not only explain you know, our political beliefs, but more so culturally who we are and what our values are. And it was great to be with Syrian students and explain these different values and cultures and not only that but to really learn firsthand about Syrian values and, and the Syrian culture and their political perspectives and for each of us to represent our countries in this way was, is truly remarkable and something that I don't believe I haven't heard of any other programs that have that have done things of this sort and really allowed for this experience of cross-cultural engagement and dialogue. I think the program gave participants the opportunity to not only put a face on the other, but to develop a relationship with this other group that um, they wouldn't likely have met otherwise. It was very interesting to be part of a, uh, a lecture where before it started we, we saw the American flag raised and the American national anthem, anthem sang. One of my favorite things about this program was the access that we had to the political leadership of both Syria and the United States um, on Syrian soil. I remember the Grand Mufti, a very well-spoken individual and, and spoke very highly about the programs that are ongoing in Syria. <laughs> Visiting with the Grand Mufti was definitely the most fascinating experience. Um, due to his apolitical nature and how open he was compared to the other political rhetoric that we've heard um, a lot during our trip. He was, he was uh, very f fascinated with my Judaism and, and invited my family to even come out to Damascus, which was very nice of him. Every day the students studied language and media, participated in conflict resolution dialogue sessions, met with leaders from Syria's political and religious elite, and traveled the country. While we were in Syria, we were told that our group met with more Syrian officials than any one American official that was there, which was very surprising, but at the same time, we felt very important, uh, which was very good. Uh, we visited also the U.S. Uh, consulate there. They were just still setting up. Uh, they had a, an office building that they were in, 
uh, with uh, Chuck Hunter, uh, the charge of the affairs person there uh, until the, a new ambassador is assigned and uh, several of his uh, staff. Now, none of these are factors that, that can't be overcome with some work. Two Columbia graduate students, Nora Gordon and Heidi Rosby, developed and led the dialogue component of the diplomacy program. Each day, the students participated in two-hour conflict transformation dialogue sessions. These comprised a combination of team building, personal and professional development, communication and listening skills, trust building, and cultural awareness workshops. One of my favorite parts of this program, and I would say it was kind of the backbone of the program was the dialogue session. We literally discussed um, modes of conflict resolution and the facilitators that did it did a tremendous job because me personally I liked their use of metaphor. Um, it, it made conflict universal and it made resolution universal. The dialogue sessions um you know, it was, it was great to explore. We got to travel all over Syria and see some amazing sites. However, each day we had dialogue sessions with the Syrian students where we really got to delve into some of the pertinent issues that are going on between Syria and the United States. One of our initial goals for the program was about cultural exchange. Um, one of our, you know, the first aims of the dialogue component. Um, was about cultural exchange and so I think one of the main ideas was to move beyond tolerance toward really appreciating each other's cultures and differences, cultural differences as well as individual differences. Um, and I think that's something we were really able to see over time. Um, it's something where you really need to be, I think, immersed living with each other to be able to do. Um, it was an amazing experience. The, everyone was very open and exceeded expectations for what we could really achieve uh, as far as breaking down barriers and uh, pushing past the easy issues. Um, some of the techniques we used to get to that point were some uh, conflict resolution tools, for example, um, a conflict simulation, a, a fake country where the participants um, had different roles to play in that conflict and really looked at the causes of the conflict and how how they could move past that. And while that was a completely fictional uh, set, a conflict that had nothing to do really with the Syrian and American uh, divide some, uh, between the, in the relationship, it was able, it, it laid the groundwork for participants being able to look objectively at problem solving uh, on an international level and then apply what they had learned from that to the Syria-US um, uh, situation. 